Hey, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. You? I'm fine. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good Everyone. evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend, guys? Did you guys get a chance to relax and enjoy your weekend? Yes, I enjoyed my weekend. Yes, I enjoyed my weekend. So relax. Great. We're going to take... Me too, teacher. <laughs> That's what I like. We're going to take uh, just about five minutes. And in the five minutes, we're going to make a few groups. And the idea is with our groups, we're just going to take a moment and talk about our weekend. Ask questions. Remember to ask WH questions. The WH questions is what, where, when, how, who, and those follow-up questions, okay? So practice asking and answering questions to your partners about the different things. Okay. All right. Reve, you need to accept the invitation. Anna, you should have received an invitation for the groups to join the other small groups. Okay, yeah, yeah, because uh, in in our Japan we have a Molina too. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good, Good evening. Night. How are you? Hi, teacher. Rebecca. Exciting. She, she was Exciting. explaining about <laughs> about what she was explaining. What happened with me? How are your Explain about uh, the hair hair weekend. Ah, okay. okay. Oh. Explain about hair weekend. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, my my weekend was remember... a little busy because I had to work. Oh really? Yesterday I had uh -huh. to work very early at seven from seven a.m. Yeah. to five p.m. Yeah. What side? Do you work in a restaurant? The uh, day, uh, in the Monday, uh, in the afternoon, I uh, I relax. Where it's do me. you Where do you work? I I work in Agricola Bank, and I am program analyst. Really? 
it's yeah. good. Yeah. I, I, I'm working in bank. In, in his name is Avank. Top ten, top ten picture of Netflix and uh, yeah, not the same picture that uh, United States account in Netflix. You seeing another series, you know? Oh. How do I? Bicentenario, el park, park Bicentenario, Bicentenario Park. Bicentenario or park? park. Uh -huh. Bicentenario Park with my family. And I, in Sunday, eh, the, same, the same, I go out with my family. Okay. Okay, I have a question. Do you go out uh, many places? Because I I no, never go out or, uh, a bit because of the pandemic. You go out? Yes. Yes. Okay. My... What about you, Leah? <laughs> In my case, no, no, no much because uh, I, I, I am very, Fair, miedo, fair. Uh, because the, the news say anybody uh, go out if no is not is necessary. Yes, I I never go to the <laughs> park. I never go. Sometimes I went to a shopping center. Yes, but because I need pay the pay the telephone service or anything. But the many, con, a bit, <laughs> I, I know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But no, no salgo. <laughs> Okay, guys, like I said, it's only a few minutes uh, just for us to get together and have the idea, talk about our weekend and see how everything is. It's good, good normal practice. Um, today, we're going to continue with the topic that we saw last week. We began to see it, and this was the idea of gerunds, okay? We have the idea for gerunds. So, Let's watch the, the video about gerunds and then we're going to practice a little bit. Welcome to this class. In this class, what we want to do is we want to practice gerund phrases. And so we're going to learn how gerunds are used as subjects and also how they're used as. And a couple of grammar rules to learn is that it is always going to be singular. It's always going to act as a third person. And so let's look at that. Voting is an important responsibility. Choosing a candidate takes time. And as you can see, those are subjects of sentences. And of the idea here is that this is going to be singular. So we're always going to have a singular verb. Like in this case, voting is an important responsibility. We could say voting was or voting will be, but the idea is that it's going to be singular. And then the other example, choosing a candidate takes time. Again, choosing becomes the subject of our sentence, and so it becomes a thing, not necessarily um, a verb. Um, and then, of course, we need to follow that grammatical rule that we need to add S to that verb. When talking about this topic, it's important not to confuse the gerunds with the present progressive. So let me give you an example about that. If I express, I'm voting today, uh, really what I'm saying is that it's an action that is happening today, right? It, it could be in the future, by the way, as well, but I'll, I'll talk about that later. Um, and on the other hand, voting is an important responsibility. So in that particular case, I'm using that 
as a present progressive form. On the other hand, I'm using that as a gerund. So I'm using that as the object of my sentence. And so there it's a verb. And the second example, it's, a, it's the subject of a sentence. And so let me just give you a quick example of what I want you to do. So what is exciting for you? Okay. Well, windsurfing is exciting. Windsurfing is very exciting. Playing soccer is exciting. Going to the movies is exciting. So all of those expressions that you've heard in the past, and they don't quite make that much sense, they should make a lot more sense now. And so what I would like for you to do is to take that concept then and tell me what makes you laugh, what gives you a headache, what isn't polite, what is popular in your country, what destroys the environment, and what uh, can be dangerous. All right, teacher, let me try the first one. For me, watching comedy movies makes me laugh. For me, learning math gives me a headache. Using your cell phone in class isn't polite. Playing basketball is popular in my country. Burning fossil fuels destroys the environment. Not taking action on weapons of mass destruction can be dangerous. Now let me talk about the last part of our class and what we want to do next is we want to learn how gerunds can also be the objects of sentences. And so let me give you a few examples about that. So we heard politicians say, I suggest improving our schools. So as you can see, the suggest is our verb and improvement becomes the object of our sentence. So it's no longer a verb. I enjoy working for the people. This is what politicians say. And what we want to do here is we want to use gerunds as objects. So they both enjoy. What do they enjoy? They enjoy watching the birds. And then they, I mean, you could you could have said uh, different things. So what I would also like for you to do is to try to make sense of all of this and try to complete this exercise. So I'll have my virtual students try this out. But I would also like for you to try this out as well. So this is quite easy. Hi, John. I need a ride to the airport. Would you mind taking me? I don't mind taking you. I'm heading that way anyways. Dad, can I go outside and play? Have you finished doing your homework? Why did Javier look so sad today? I think he really misses being away from home during holiday. Okay. So. All right. So kind of to help us review a little bit and understand kind of weird the video. So that's why I wanted to see it. I wanted us to see it together because you understand some of those cartoons and the concept. The idea is that they're speaking using ING right? Um, visiting, voting, working, seeing, playing, all of these they begin with ing. The gerund, the idea of the gerund is the verb with ing at the beginning of the sentence. When it's at the beginning of the sentence, that's what we call the gerund. And that is the subject. For example, uh, reading is very educational, okay? Or cooking for my family is entertaining. That's the idea of the gerunds that we're talking about is always the verb with ing at the beginning. Now, what we're going to do is with our partners, we're going to try and we're going to put the group of sentences that are not in the correct order. Okay, so we're going to unscramble them. We have several sentences that are not correct. And we, with our partners, want to put them correctly. I'm going to show you the first one so that to make sure that everybody is clear what we have okay so here this is 2.4 the knowledge check 2.4 okay now with 2.4 it says example is not a man's job designed clothes well we have to put we know that it's going to be with ing right so in here the only word that we have with ing is designing that's going to be our first word. And then we're going to put in order. Now, there's a couple of things you need to remember. One, it's very important. You need to use the correct spelling and punctuation. So that means here, 
we have capital D. Here is not capital, but if we begin the sentence, it has to have a capital letter. That's one, we need to make sure we put that. In the example, there is no period, but when we write a sentence, we have to put a period, okay? Those are some of the things that if you don't put correctly, the platform doesn't accept it, and the platform takes like it's incorrect, the answers, okay? So that's why it's important that you put it in. Remember, it, the idea, it, sometimes it might accept that you have it uh, without the capital, but the idea is for you to practice having those correctly. Any questions? Are we ready? Teacher. No, I don't, I don't have no, a question. No, teacher. Teacher, I have a question. Yes? Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, all we have to uh, start with uh, ING for make a subject. Mm hmm uh, if, if I put the, um, the ING uh, next time the verb is, is present progress, progressive, right? Correct. If the, oh. if, if the verb to be is before, if the verb to be is before, then it's the present progressive. If the verb to be is after, that's the idea for the, the gerund. Um, there, there are other forms to use in the ING next time other verb. Mm -hmm. It's like with singular. So, for example, reading is, uh, cooking is, or cooking was, or uh, working uh, will be is always in the singular form, the verb to be, or the, the next verb. Oh, okay. 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 Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. If you don't have um, the computer, you don't have, it's also in the WhatsApp. In the WhatsApp is also the four questions that you and your partners are going to do that you can check. Okay. Okay. Eduardo, you okay? Care of children, children. Must, must be, be very, very strong. Like this? Yeah. Point. Finish yeah. point. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Second. Sounds fascinating. Fascinating working on a movie set. What is it's the verb to be? On a movie set. Uh huh. I think working on a movie set. Working. Sounds fascination. Yeah. Uh, and the and the and the one letter is is mayuscula. No sé cómo what you say mayuscula. Sí. Sí. Yeah. Teacher, what you say mayuscula? Capital letter. Upper letter, okay. Mm -hmm. Capital letter. Okay, pretty difficult. Difficult. Making that, living uh, as an artist. Mm -hmm. As an artist, it will be pretty difficult. Taking care of children must be very challenging. Uh. 
Why is making living as an artist? Mm, I have problems with uh, understand that because I I no, it's do... not like that. Is living like an artist could be uh, pretty difficult. I uh, put that in the beginning, but don't uh, take me the the the. the the classroom. So making a living as an artist, do it. Yes. And uh, number three, help us teacher. Number three is. Go ahead, Carla, you um, can do it. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Remember. Living. Uh -huh. Start with. You living have... as an artist. Here you have two options, remember, because it, you start with ING, but you have two different INGs there. So you and your partner have to decide which is more logical, which one sounds better. I think it's, uh, living as an uh, artist could be pretty difficult making. No. I don't know. Heidi, what do you think? <laughs> um. I think the pretty because it's capital letter mm. or not. Okay, that's that's you and Carla, you discuss. But remember, the Jaren phrases begin with an ing. Mm -hmm. They have, okay. those are the idea, they begin with ing. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For you, it's easier than the information and you practice. Sorry, I don't. You understand this uh, topic? For you, it's uh, easier the topics, the germ phrases. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> no, for me, it's, it's a little confused, but. But I try to understand. Okay. Remember, remember the idea is that it's ING. It's only ING. The idea, Jaren, is only have ING at the beginning of the sentence. At the beginning. Okay. That's going to be the difference between a Jaren and the verb. The Jaren at the beginning, the verb in the middle or at the end. In the middle. All right. Sure. All right. Teacher. Okay. Sure. Yes. Now, now it's more, yeah, now it's clear, right? Mm -hmm. ah, okay, teacher, uh, I I have a um, I were in the platform in the number three, and then my my confuse in the change the sentences the for the complete. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's correct using uh, this form leaving us an artist could be a pretty difficult making, but. Uh, I don't know is correct this form or 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 this order in the put sentences. No, it's not correct. The order is not correct. Um, but you, the idea is similar. Only your your word making is not in the correct position. Is at the beginning. Um, Be is not living. Is making is the first word. Making a living. Making. Mm -hmm. Making a Making, living. Correct. That's how you're going to begin. Um, okay. 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 All Thank right. You. You're welcome. Thank you much, teacher. You're welcome. Pretty, 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 pretty here. No. no. Okay, number four. Dejemos uh, esta. <laughs> uh, number four is, is easy working working as an architect Al yeah Alain? yeah teacher is number three the first word is making mm. making is you, oh. be, you begin with making not with living you st the first verb there you have two verbs so it's more difficult but the first making is making pretty artist. no making a living Oh. Okay. 
making a living as an artist could be difficult. Hey, there you go. Exactly. Uh huh. It's for the okay. confusion for the making and the living. This is what makes it more difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Making a, oh, I forgot, making a, hmm. making a living as, a, as an artist could be hmm. very difficult. Okay. Making a living. Correct, uh -huh. correct. Mm -hmm. Making a living as an artist. Oh, teacher. This, is, this information, Elia. I don't see. Hey, we have a question. Um, this sentence uh, start with gerundio, ENG? Yes. No, yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Or not precisely? Precis precis <laughs> no, no, no. Always. Jaren always have to begin with ING. Yes. Begin ING. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, a teacher, what do you think this? Go, go. Go to number two again. Let me see the rest of the sentence. Working, a movie set, sound, fascinating. Mm. Do you see it's incorrect? Do you see why, Leah? Do you see why it's incorrect? Look at number two, the, the, the words that they give you. You, are, you did not use all of the words. Okay, working, uh, where is the mistake? Look in the in the original in the in the question. Look here. Uh huh. Look there. Which word you did not use? Yes, there. Uh -huh. There's. Look at the words there, and some and uh, those. There is one word you did not use. Two verbs: uh, fascinating and working. No, you use. I think you use working. Uh mm -hmm. And you use fascinating. Working. Fascinating. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, you use working and fascinating. Uh huh. Continue. What other word? Uh, I don't know. I don't understand this year. Okay, so let's see. In number two, did you use sounds? Mm -hmm. Here's sounds. Perfect. Did you did you use fascinating? Fascinating is here. Good. Did you use working? Working is here. Uh huh. Did you use on? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. And, and, and working. Uh huh. On ah, uh, I said it. Yeah. Exactly. On? On ah. Uh. Correct. And these are the, the small mistakes that you go and you go and I don't understand and why is wrong? Why is wrong? <laughs> the idea is correct, but not all of the structure, all of the grammar. Yes. Thank you. But now it's, it's okay. Yes. Only the capital letter. Remember always to begin the oh, yes, okay, okay. capital letter, mm -hmm. but good. And here, what do you think? Uh, it, taking care mm -hmm. of children must be very challenging. I think it's going to be wrong. Okay. Do you see between very, go back, where is very? It's very. And you see challenging? Do you have two spaces? Okay, 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 okay. Here, 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 here. Look, you have, I, you see, two spaces. And if you have two spaces, it's not correct. Yes, it's true. Okay. And now, is, uh, what do you think? Uh, taking care of the children mm -hmm. must be very challenging. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Yes, it's it's only the, the little details you have to be careful for. The double space, the capital letter, the period, those little mistakes. Yes, it's true. Okay. okay and now... Um, I had re remind about the practice practice number two, but I don't know. It's about the comparisons. Uh -huh, uh huh. I don't know what happened with uh, with that textures. Hey teacher. Luis, you had a question. Sorry, sorry, Luis. <laughs> You're on mute, Luis, you're on mute, uh-huh, yes. Yeah, uh, 
No, no, I, I have a question because uh, do you know in the class you show uh, during the video uh, I mean with the exercise with uh, Yaron, they mm -hmm. complete the exercise, right? But I don't have a clear when Obama say something with okay. answer and, uh, and the number and the number two when the lady say something in the college too I I, I didn't get uh, the, the, the answer okay let me make sure uh, give me one second and see if it's the right one that we're talking about I think okay one second Luis I think is this one that you are talking about. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The number one uh, give me a headache. I don't. I don't. I don't have clear what. Okay. The lady. Okay. So, for example, here in 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 this one, number one is for example, watching movies makes me laugh. Uh -huh. Which, watching comedy movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can put uh -huh. in watching comedy movies makes me laugh. Remember, uh -huh. the the idea is we begin with ing. Okay. Only, we begin with ing only if it's negative. Then you begin with the negative. For example, okay. not or uh, can't or something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And the number two. And the number two gives me a headache. So, for example. Listening to reggaeton gives me a headache. Okay. Listen. I agree. But, <laughs> but then, then <laughs> if you give uh, the next teacher uh, play the... Is in polite. The, or, uh, or what? Play the, the video and the next... Uh, and the next... Uh, it seems appear the, the, the answer. Okay, hang on. Exercise. Mm, let me see. Let's see. It's popular in your country. What destroys the environment? And what yeah. uh, can be dangerous? All right, teacher. Let me try in the that first moment, one. In that space. In this space. Okay, let's listen. Yeah, and, and then let me that, play. That boy is give the answer number one. Okay. Let's see. It's popular in your country. What destroys the environment? And what... Uh, can be dangerous. All right, teacher. Let me try the first one. For me, watching comedy movies makes me laugh. For me, learning math gets. You see the first one, Luis? Watching that, comedy movies. I had that. It's yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the number one, I got it. The number two is uh, I have a problem. I don't oh, know okay. what say that the lady. Okay, let's listen to number two. And what. Uh -huh. uh, can be dangerous. All right, teacher. Let me try the first one. For me, watching comedy movies makes me laugh. For me, learning math gives me a headache. Using your. She says, learning math gives me a headache. Learning math. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Learning math. Yes. Like like mathematics class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mathematics. Ah, math. Uh -huh. okay, thank you. Huh? Thank it's you. a short. Yes, exactly. It's the short form. Okay, yeah. It's the short form. Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. I, You're I, welcome. I, I... Okay. Any other questions? No? Okay. In the WhatsApp group, uh, I also sent uh, some pictures and images of our next topic. Our next topic is comparisons with adjectives and nouns. Okay. Um, I'm going to show us here the, the video, but it's also some of the screenshots are in the WhatsApp. So some of the idea is how to compare jobs specifically, how to compare, compare professions. And many times when we use comparatives, we're going to use specific words like the words more or less. Those are very common. Okay. The same for better or worse or as as. We're going to watch a, the small video, but I took some screenshots of some important moments. That way you can help, it can help you as a reference later. Okay. So let's watch and then I'll, I'll explain. Uh, um, uh, lawyer. 
fashion designer. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to compare different jobs using adjectives and nouns. For example, let's say that you're considering being a fashion designer or an accountant. Being a fashion designer is more than an accountant. Or considering working as a doctor or a nurse. So a doctor has worse hours than a nurse. So in order to express these ideas, we need to use adjectives and nouns to make these comparisons. So let me do the following. Let me just uh, present the structure. But uh, before we do that, what I would like to do is present this um, comparison structures. Uh, let me just quickly point out that um, all the comparisons that we're going to do in this class and also the following, we're, we're just going to use these few comparisons, as you can see. We're going to use these words to make the comparisons. So as you can see, we could say more. And um, here in the middle, we will include an adjective. Uh, and um, and then we'll include then, and that will make the comparison there. Um, on the other hand, we could use less, and at the same time, we'll use an adjective there. Um, so a quick example, um, being a fashion designer is more interesting than being an accountant. Okay, or being an accountant is less interesting than being a fashion designer, and so on and so forth. Um, I guess also, uh, since I pointed out a doctor, a doctor has worse hours than a nurse, or a nurse has better hours than a doctor. Uh, and then we're going to use this um, other ones here to point out that they might have similarities, that they might be the same or that they might not be the same. Um, and so that's what we're going to be doing in uh, this class. So let's try to make the comparison with, between two jobs. Um, what we'll do is we'll select this first two as you can see here. So we have this one looks like a lawyer and picture number two looks like a mechanic. So let's make the comparison between lawyer and a mechanic. Before we do that, we want to have some uh, work related adjectives in mind such as stressful, fantastic, fascinating, difficult, easy, interesting, dangerous. And of course there are many more but because of time we're not going to go through. Um, a lot of other adjectives. Uh, and we also want to have uh, or we want to consider work related uh, nouns. So what are nouns? They're just people, places, or things, right? So in this case when we think about jobs we want to think about things like hours, like how many hours you work, education, uh, how much education do you have, uh, work, uh, is your job, does your job consist of doing a lot of work, right? Uh, and these are the kind of things that we want to keep in mind in order for us to make uh, these comparisons. So what can we say about a lawyer versus, uh, let's say, a mechanic, right? We want to make the comparison between those two. Well, uh, we could say the following. I think we could say that working as a lawyer uh, is more <clears throat> stressful than working as as a mechanic. Then, so we will use an adjective in this case. I decided to use the adjective stressful, uh, and it's I think it's also important to mention that this is an an opinion, right? So my opinion could be different than yours. You could think the opposite of this. So I I wouldn't know neither one of those two because I never worked as a lawyer or as a mechanic so I wouldn't know which one is more stressful but it sounds like the lawyer is more stressful right and the way that we do it is well we notice that we're continuing using general phrases similar to uh, the previous class that we had where, where we learned how to make general phrases so working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic um, at the same time, you could uh, you could say working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer, um, and that's in essence is basically the same sentence, right? 
but it's just in a different way. Working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer. There you go. Here we go. And the reason I did this is because I quickly wanted to point out that we can use either more um, or we could also use less, right? Okay. So, I want to pause there to make sure that it's clear that the two forms are grammatically correct and the two forms mean exactly the same thing. It's only using different words to express them. Now, how do we make comparisons? If you notice, we always use the words uh, that we are comparing more, less, better, worse, and then than. Than is because we are explaining. If I don't explain, if I only say one thing, I can say working as a lawyer is stressful, only one. If I'm going to say two, then I need to say working as a lawyer is more stressful than and compare. Okay, that's the idea. And the same, you can change the, the, I see it, the, the same idea. For example, uh, working as a lawyer is better than working as a mechanic. Or you switch, working as a mechanic is worse than working as a lawyer. So for both of those, we can use the different forms. We can have the first the lawyer or the mechanic or the mechanic and then the lawyer. Only we need to change the words to have the same meaning. In this moment, are there any questions for this activity or for this part? Not teacher. No. no. Okay. All right. Let's finish the video. Let's see. So what else could we say about a lawyer and a mechanic is as interesting as working as a mechanic. So if I absolutely love cars, then definitely I think that working as a mechanic is very interesting. So in this case, I wanted to point this one out uh, because I want to express that both jobs are the same. So to me, both jobs um, have the same level, if you will, right? They are the same. One is not better than the other. Uh, and again, this is my opinion um, because I love cars and I also think that um, uh, lawyers are interesting and the work that the lawyers do is very interesting. So again, I want to point out that in this case, I'm using adjectives to make the comparisons. What I want to do next is use nouns to make the comparisons. So what kind of nouns can we think about when uh, we think about comparing these two jobs? Well, previously I mentioned that we can think of things like hours, maybe education, uh, or perhaps the type of work that people do. So, well, lawyer and mechanic, it, it usually is the case that a lawyer has more education than a mechanic, right? So, uh, in this case, we can say that a lawyer has more education uh, than a mechanic. Uh, this is the noun that I am using to compare. What else can we say about the two jobs? Well, um, I could probably say that a mechanic has better hours than a lawyer. Okay, and in this case, as you can see, I used the one here in the middle better, and in the middle, I included uh, the noun to make the comparisons, right? So the noun that I'm using to compare, it's hours. At the same time, I could say a lawyer has. Okay. So what I have to understand clearly is that we can use adjectives or nouns. The word education, the word hours, those things are nouns. Normally, we use adjectives, but depending on the situation, we can also use nouns. Nouns are those things that we talk about, right? For example, money. Money is a noun, it's not an adjective. So we can say, okay, a lawyer earns more money than a mechanic, right? Because that's a thing, okay? 
or we can use adjectives, for example, uh, relaxing, entertaining, or uh, maybe stressful or fun. And we can use those different adjectives and compare the two. But always we're going to be using these words, the more, the less, the better, the worse, and then the word than. It's okay, the idea for those comparatives? Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay. Okay. Now, also in the video, we saw that at the end, there's also the words as, as. Does anybody have an idea why we use as, as, or what as, as means? Here, for example, we're using as, as, and not as, as. What does that mean? What When do we use as, as? It's the same. Correct. That means it's the same. When we use not as, as, it means it's not the same. That's the main idea. It's very simple for that aspect, that as, as, the same. So is as difficult as is the same difficult. Um, they make the, they make as much money as is the same money, okay? They have as many hours as is the same amount of hours. It doesn't mean they don't have a, they have a little hours or a lot of hours. It only means the same, the same hours. So maybe Eduardo works 50 hours, okay? And maybe Reve works 50 hours. It's a lot, but they work the same hours. So Eduardo works as many hours as Reve. Do you see? This is only for comparing those two. It's not for opinion in the more or the less with as as. As as is the same. It's different. Uh, Eduardo works uh, more hours than uh, Jose, for example. Eduardo works 50 and Jose works 20. Then it's okay. And remember, you can switch and have the same meaning. Only you need to change the word. Jose works less hours than Eduardo. Is that OK? OK. 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 So okay. we're going to. We're going to make groups and we're going to practice our own. You're going to practice your own with your jobs, your friends, your professions, whatever, as, as, or cities or towns or whatever. But right now, what we're looking at is just using those words, okay? So, for example, for me, um, I don't know. A taco is, uh, for example, a taco is more beautiful than uh, la libertad. Okay, or for my job, my job has has worse hours than an, than an accountant, right? Or a, a, a doctor earns more money than a, I don't know than maybe a, a cashier, mechanics. a mechanics. Thank you, Eduardo. Than a mechanics, but with our partners, we're gonna practice. Okay. If you don't remember, look in the WhatsApp and you can see in the WhatsApp all of the different expressions that we're going to use. There are six of them. Remember? The words are more than, less than, better than, worse than, as, as, and not as. So you want to make six partner, six sentences, and your partner six sentences. So six and six. Lucia, you okay? 
on the accept the invitation. Hey, Eduardo. From the church. Mahawal, Mahawal okay. Beach. Less beautiful than Spino Beach. Okay. And. Teacher, um, it's, it's, it's yes. okay, yes. Yes. Same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mahawal Beach is. Is a uh, is less beautiful than Spinos Beach. Correct. Mm -hmm. A popa has uh, more danger that call uh, uh, escalon. Colon, escalon. Mm -hmm. Only no has is is yes. is more dangerous. Mm -hmm. yes. Working okay. has a program yeah. computer has interesting and working and database program. In La La Lake, uh, the Coatepeque is uh, is more beautiful. That is Lake um, in the the Usulutan. Okay. Mm -hmm. San Salvador. City, words, words, uh, pollution than Santa Tecla City. Working as a designer graphic. Let's see. Working as a, a, I don't know, a designer is is worse is more worse than than a professor. I think <laughs> it depends. Uh, do you like shields? Do love do it the professor? But you have no, <laughs> no, because I don't. I'm not a student for uh, to be yeah, a professor. <laughs> so I don't know how to respond to that. My mom is professor as a teacher, but I think it is uh, work in the work like a teacher is. Okay. It's a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, um, working uh, as a pilot, as, as a pilot is more, is more interesting as uh, working as a painting. Okay, and Working as a periodist is more interesting working a mechanic, working as mechanic. Okay. Mm. Studying in um, university is is uh, 
uh, really, uh, I don't know how to make uh, that uh, make that sample words. Teacher, mm -hmm. are you there? I'm here. Uh, can you help me with with uh, an example using words? Then, yeah. For example, drinking soda is worse than drinking water. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. Now now I understand. I remember. I remember. Okay. Thank, thanks. You're welcome. Welcome. Okay. I use other shampoo. Drink, drinking soda is a word that is the drinking water. Correct. The same, remember, Pedro, we can change. Remember, we can say reverse. Drinking water is better than drinking it's soda. Than drinking soda. Uh -huh. oh, it's the okay. same, only you, you change the point of view. You should change that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Jose. Let me listen. Let me listen to one. Yeah. yeah um, drinking alcohol is worse than, worse than drink soda. Okay. Uh huh. Exactly. Drinking soda is better than drinking alcohol. It's better than yeah. Exactly. Now I understand. Okay. okay. Good. Good. For example, in this woman for the teacher uh, studying English is uh, better than studying math. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Good. Do you guys have any questions? No, any... I don't have any question, teacher. Is no okay? question, teacher. Okay, let's just try. It's, it's time for us to go, but before we go, let's try to make sure that it's clear. Eduardo, can you give me one example, please? Okay. Uh... Working a uh, designer graphic is more more stressful than a, a carpenter as a carpenter. Okay, okay, very good. And remember, what Eduardo example is the same if you change, right? Working as a carpenter is less stressful than working as a designer. A graphic designer. So depend the point of view, you can put the same sentence only in two different forms. Leah, can you give us an example? Uh, working a medical or doctor is more dangerous than working as an engineer. Okay. And <laughs> very good. And the same we change, right? We change the same like with Eduardo's. Working as an engineer is less dangerous than working yes. as a doctor. Yes. Okay. Yes. So tomorrow we're going to practice doing the two. Today we have only one. Tomorrow with our partners, mm -hmm. I say one and my partner the reverse. My partner say one and I the reverse. Okay. So oh, tomorrow, okay. Yes. tomorrow we continue practicing again more at the beginning. All right. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, have a good night and I see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.